Now you, you can imagine, to put things in perspective, I am sending, if I wrote you an email, how many of you are here? <laughs> how many can I write a personal email? How much am I going to write? How, how am I going to personalize an email? Allah Azza wa Jal gave us an entire set of letters. Risalati Rabbi, Quran calls it. Letters from Allah. Messages from Allah. Personalized for us. Each and every one of us. 600 pages worth. 600 pages worth. Allah talking to me and Allah talking to you. Personally. That we're supposed, you know, nobody cries when they think about someone else. They cry when they think about themselves. The people who cry when they make salah is because they, they heard something about themselves. Allah is sending you a personal guidance, me a personal guidance. My message to you tonight because of Ar-Rahman is that we have to build a personal relationship with the Qur'an. It has to be that way. If you want to experience what Ar-Rahman means, then you have to become a student of the Qur'an. Let's talk about Allam al-Qur'an a little bit. Just a little bit. You know the word Allama in Arabic, Taf'il, it actually means to deliver knowledge over a long period of time. A long period of time. There is no rush. You don't have to learn the whole Qur'an right now. Not this month. You don't have to do that. Just learn a little bit at a time, but continuously. The best student of the Qur'an in history is Rasulullah himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is also the best teacher and also the best student. And as a student, Allah taught him for how long? 23 years. He taught him the Qur'an. We're not in a hurry. We can take our time. Don't feel intimidated. I don't know all the surahs. I haven't read the whole thing. I don't know all of tafsir. It's okay. That's not the point. The point is you start somewhere. Start memorizing a little bit. Start learning a little bit. A little bit at a time. That's all that Allah is asking from us. That's what He's asking from us. Every day, especially for the young people here, I am telling you, when you have a daily relationship with the Qur'an, with understanding, it'll change the way you think. It'll change the kind of friends you have. It'll change what you want to do with your spare time. It'll make you people of vision. We need young Muslims to be people of vision. You need to be people that want to change society and make it better. You don't want to be people of video games and movies and sleep. You don't want to be those people. Because first come video games and movies and sleep, then smoking, then drugs, then alcohol. And that's, that's life wasted. These are lives, hundreds of thousands of lives wasted. Not just of non-Muslims, these are problems of Muslim youth today. Muslim youth have no purpose today. Why is that? Because the book that gives us purpose, we're disconnected from it. We're disconnected from that book. We have to reconnect with this book. This is, our, this is a, a really serious obligation we have in the Ummah to help the people come closer to this book and not scare people from this book and push them away from this book. SubhanAllah. This book is even inviting the hateful, stubborn people. It began with Ar-Rahman. They were stubborn and Allah began with Ar-Rahman. How are we supposed, you know, when people get angry at the youth that they're away from the deen, I don't get angry at them. I get angry at people like myself. We haven't done enough. They would not have gone away if they knew what this was. And they don't know what this is because we're not doing our job. Those of us that should be teaching should be teaching more. And those of you that are youth that are of concern, become people of concern for others. You know, there's a difference between a da'i and a alim. You don't have to be a alim. You don't have to be a faqih. To share the Qur'an with somebody. The Qur'an has some ayat that are very complicated. I'm not saying you should give a khutbah about inheritance law tomorrow. I'm not saying that. But when Allah says, Wal asri innal insana lafi khusr, You can share that with your friends. You can say something nice about Allah and His Messenger through Allah's book with each other. You can make it a means of reminder. That's what it was supposed to be. That's really what it was supposed to be. You know, this is Allam al-Qur'an. First of all, take your time. 